I'm going to start by introducing Soledad Atienza. Soledad Atienza is Dean of IE Law School and Anon Lehavi, who's co-president of the law school's Global League and Dean of the Law School of IDC Herzliya, presenting the Legal Tech Venture Day final. IE and IDC Herzliya are active members of the law school's Global League and they've created this Global Legal Tech competition in partnership with the law firm Ontier. Now, this competition has been amazing. It's gone to all over the world. It's been to Turin, it's been to Sao Paulo, it's been to London, it's been to Sydney. I was fortunate enough to be able to go to the London edition where it was amazing to see so many of these startups in legal tech in London compete. We now have four winners and they will be competing for the best global legal tech innovation award. So with that, let's begin. Join me, Soledad. Thank you. Please grab a seat. Hello, Paris. So, Soledad, um, you know, I've been doing competitions for a long time, and it's only recently that we've been starting to hear about legal tech. What is legal tech, and since when did technology get involved in the legal sector? Well, uh, Paris, I would say that in this uh, unprecedented time of changes, also the legal profession and the provision of legal services is undergoing a large transformation. And this transformation is due to different reasons. One of them is that the, the way uh, that legal services are provided is now including a larger use of digital tools and a larger use of technology, both in the way law firms and in-house legal departments are run and managed, also in the use of artificial intelligence, but also in the sense that the legal advice, the legal areas that clients are now demanding lawyers and law firms for advice are focused in helping companies and enterprises transform into a more digital and a more technical oriented uh, companies and enterprises. Uh, in addition, uh, I would mention, for example, the, the, the digital transformation that the public administration is going through. Uh, think of the, the way courts are being run the way the judiciary is also now implementing the use of digital and technology uh, to provide, uh, uh, to administer justice and to provide legal services. So in the long term, this digitalization and uh, deeper use of technology will help and will benefit the clients, it will benefit the legal profession, and it will benefit society because it will be easier and it will be more accessible for uh, citizens and uh, enterprises and companies around the world to access to these kind of legal services. Okay, interesting. Now, during COVID-19, um, has the legal industry been affected much? I would say that this uh, situation that is transforming uh, the economy, that is transforming society, that is transforming the legal market is obviously having an impact in the legal service but everything that the legal market, that legal services providers are now learning, everything that they are implementing is probably their, their tools, their ways of managing their, that are here to stay. This situation has only made um, legal tech and the use of technology for the provision of legal services go faster and deeper and has only pushed a transformation that was already going on. And finally, Soledad, I mean, we're here at a competition. Um, why a competition? How did you guys come up with this idea? I mean, I think it's great, but I don't think too many law schools are doing, like, competitions on, you know, legal startups. Why? Well, Paris, this, was, this, this competition was launched two years ago by a group of very innovative and, and internationally focused uh, law schools that uh, founded uh, the Law Schools Global League, uh, where over 20 law schools around the world uh, gathered to push a more global uh, legal education uh, uh, practice. And, and, and the Law Schools Global League came up with this idea of a competition in order to attract talent uh, around uh, legal tech. So this year we've had uh, four uh, regional uh, competitions uh, to, to invite the most talented and the, the best uh, startups in legal tech. One of them in Italy, in University of Turin, 
one of them in Australia, in the University of New South Wales, in King's College London, and in Brazil, uh, in FGV Fundación Getulio Varga. And I see also the, the president of the Law Schools Global League, Amnon Lehavi, has joined us today and will also be participating in this event. Okay, thank you, Soledad. Welcome, Anon Lehavi. Yes, I see you're president of this amazing league that's brought together all these law schools. So I think we're about to begin. Thank you.